Welcome to Tricky's Kitchen where delicious food is made easy. Today Tricky will show you how to make chapli kebab. Chapli just means flat in the Pashto language. These are the ingredients for the chapli kebab. The method, add in the chicken mince and the listed ingredients to a mixing bowl. That's the egg, spring onions chopped, green coriander chopped, chopped green chilies, garlic paste and ginger paste. Now add in the powdered ingredients to the same mixing bowl. That's the salt, crushed coriander seeds, carom seeds also known as ajwai, mango powder also known as amchur, chili flakes, cumin seed powder, garam masala powder and plain flour as required. Then add in the butter, pepper powder and lemon juice to the same mixing bowl and mix until well combined. Please note you can adjust the amount of pepper powder and lemon juice to suit your taste and liking. Now drop in the chopped tomatoes at the very end and mix. Please note remove the seeds from the tomatoes and then chop and pat dry them to remove any liquid. We are now ready to shape the kebab. So oil hands and take a portion of the mixture and shape into a patty. Then place on a piece of grease proof paper and as the name suggests chapli means flat so flatten shape and set aside. Repeat the previous step so again oil hands shape the mixture into a patty flatten shape and set aside and again oil hands shape into a patty flatten shape and set aside. We are now ready to fry the kebabs so heat oil in the frying pan and fry the patties on both sides until golden brown then drain on the kitchen towel. Please note using a piece of grease proof paper allows you to flatten shape and easily slide the patties into the hot oil. So as before repeat the previous step and fry the rest of the patties. So slide the patties in, fry them on both sides, remove and drain on the kitchen towel. Finally, transfer onto a serving plate and you can serve with pulao rice, naan, pita bread or burger buns. You can also serve them on their own with fresh salad and dips. And there you have it, chapli kebab. So thank you for stopping by. Do hope you will give this recipe a try. Have lots of fun in the process as you toy. And most of all, don't forget to enjoy. Tricky's Kitchen has lots of other delicious recipes that you would like to try out. So be sure to click on the video link on your screen right now and watch another video. And subscribe to Tricky's Kitchen if you haven't yet for more delicious recipes.